Well, Saturday afternoon, a rare event will take place in the sky. There will be a solar eclipse across the United States. Just one problem with viewing <laughs> it here anyway, and that <laughs> is the weather. Meteorologist Ricky Matthews has details on local viewing and how you can still watch. On Saturday, an annular solar eclipse will occur across the western United States. For Hampton Roads, we'll see a partial solar eclipse between around noon and 2 p.m. It begins just a few minutes after noon. Max eclipse is 123 in the afternoon and ends at 245. During this, the moon will cover part of the sun. The only problem is for viewing in Hampton Roads in eastern North Carolina, clouds and rain are expected across our region. Good visibility, though, in the southwest United States and in other parts of the United States, which is where you'll be able to watch some feeds from NASA. NASA on their website will have multiple feeds throughout the day that will show you the eclipse as it happens. Also different types of science experiments they're going to be doing when the eclipse is occurring and much more information about the eclipse and why it's happening. Now, don't fret. It, just because we can't see this one doesn't mean we can't see the next one. In 2024, on April 8th, there will be another solar eclipse where we'll have about 80% of the sun covered in our region. Meanwhile, the path of total eclipse, the path totality, will track across Texas, Arkansas, parts of Ohio, and New York. That's where you want to be if you can to see the moment of total darkness as the moon covers the sun. So don't worry, just watch it on NASA.com. You can do it for free. Even though the weather's bad here tomorrow, we can still see the eclipse in our area. For Wave News 10, I'm meteorologist Ricky Matthews.